Welcome to Grace Towns 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT 9. I might the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ding. Yeah, yeah. TNT. Yeah, what's up? Do you think that you could survive a grizzly bear attack? Man, I saw that video. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I liked... Uh, there, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, there no. there was two guys who who survived a grizzly bear attack. One of them got kind of mangled or whatever. Oh, this is something different. Oh, really? What were you talking about? Let's do that first. Then what up? Oh Look. no, it was just a, a it was a viral video of a uh, an Asian man, I believe. You can tell because he, when he yells. Uh, he he yells in an Asian way. And, uh, wow. That's not even ra- look. It's not racist. It's okay. not. It's just like he's just like. Ah! What but, would you imagine if I said that? Um, if I said he's an Asian man and yells in an Asian way, I'd would that be, like, be racist? What do you then? mean by that? Would that be would that be racist? I don't, I'd ask you to explain yourself. <laughs> TNT, explain yourself. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know, how would you scream if there was a bear? Like, give me your best. There's oh, God, a bear I don't scream. know. Probably ah, don't, not like, right to the micro. That's how you're gonna scream. I don't know. I, ah, I don't yell, dude. I, don't, do. I probably wouldn't scream. Me, it's ah, right. That's an American scream, right? Sure. That's a pretty standard scream. When this guy screams, it's yeah. So it's 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 a little it's like okay he's not a okay, man like you all can, right, all you can right. tell there's no Anglo-Saxon in his voice. There's no Anglo. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. But either way, he's like rock climbing, and like this bear just like comes over the side of this cliff, and the bear like misses him when it's coming over, falls down maybe like nine feet. It's only like a nine foot cliff, and the guy's climbing, and the bear jumps up and tries to grab his foot, and he's like kicking it and punching it in the face and just screaming, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, look, you know, okay, we can tell. All we get to see is his hand, but the bear just like gets scared off, I guess, from the from the hits that he's taking, and the guy is just like obviously distraught. That is wild. Yeah, this is also wild. Okay, give me so yours. So there's two guys. They survived a bear attack. I don't know. I I don't. I, I the screenshot I saved to talk about this. I don't know where this was. Um, but there's two guys. They they managed to survive a bear attack. The guy said uh, that uh, he jumped on the grizzly to try to get him off of his friend. No. Uh, right, right, right. But here's what worked. He goes, I grabbed and yanked him hard by the ears. So he jumped okay. on the grizzly bear's back, grabbed his ears, and pulled really hard. That'll do it. it. Right. That'll like, do it. And so then they were talking to the guy who, who was getting attacked. And, dude, this quote just, oh, my God, struck me to my soul. I could hear when his teeth would hit my skull. I could feel when he'd bite down on my bones and they'd kind of crunch. <laughs> That's the quote from the man who was getting mauled by the bear. And I was just like, I feel that. I feel that so mm. like your whole head is in a grizzly's mouth and you just feel him like crunching your skull with his mm. teeth, dude. I was like, oh my god. Oh my yeah, that's too much. Would you jump <laughs> on a grizzly bear's back to save my life? <laughs> no, I no. Run. I'd, I'd be like, like, I'll come back to get you TNT, I promise. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, I told you I should have bought that gun. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we should have got bear spray. Yeah, Goddamn right. a hole! You said well, pff, bear spray, hair spray. Uh, yeah, honestly, you know, keeping keeping some mace on you is probably a good idea. Yeah, but I think it's specific bear spray because I don't think regular mace works on bears. They have like they got eyes, don't they? They what? have, but they have literal bear spray. It's yeah. for bears. I think it's. This, I don't. I don't know what bear spray. I have is no idea either. either but is yeah, it like dude, diluted I, bear piss. Well, here, or something? here's the other thing. I don't put myself in position to get attacked by bears. What do you mean you don't put... I, I mean, don't go wandering in the goddamn wilderness by I mean, myself in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that's fair. If I go on a trail, I'm like on a trail. And if I'm like, could there be a bear out here? Nah, I'm probably good. We don't really live in bear country, though, you know? I mean, Austin has a bunch of, like, Metro Park trail sort of stuff. Like, giant trail. I mean, I'm sure there's bears around here somewhere. <sighs> hmm. What about big cats? Are, are there, aren't they aren't they more prevalent like a cougar or something? Are yeah, I don't know, man. All I know is if it ain't if there ain't like a trail yeah. on it, I'm not, I'm probably not just wandering around by myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna drive to a mountain and just be like, here's my entry point. You've gone camping before once. You like camping, though. Do I? Yeah. Well, how many times have you ever heard me talk about camping? I don't know. You've seen like a, videos we've done. How many camping stories have I told? <laughs> you seem like a camping type. I am not. I, no. I could have swore in an epi- the prior episode you said, I'd go camping. Nope. It sounds like a you thing to it say. It does not. What, you don't, you, so you hate camping? I, 
I am not a big fan. Ooh, get out of frick! Get out of here, dude. I went camping one time. Camping quotes with my friend when I was a kid. His parents had an RV, so we sat in the RV and hung out, and then had had a fire in a fire pit. Not camping. We're at an RV park. The second time I went camping, I went to Nelson Ledges, which is basically like a party zone. I did, we yeah, did have yeah. to set up tents and stuff, so I did I did buy a small tent yeah. and set that up, and basically just got drunk. And yeah, hung I mean, out. yeah. And we and I was like, this is a lot of freaking work, dude. Like I could just hang out somewhere where wow. it wasn't. I did I did see uh, George Clinton in Parliament Funkadelic there, so that was uh, that's it. pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Is this, is this honestly camping? Seems like everything you love. Uh, planning, uh, getting a cooler together. Uh, <laughs> I love how the second thing that I love is getting a cooler together. <laughs> no, this is one of the things that has to do okay. camping. Um, packing a car the most efficient way. Uh, a driving a long distance to prove you can do it. Uh, setting up something and, and and having it function properly these are all things you like to do these are things are they yeah is that do i need to go back and listen to the catalog <laughs> I don't I don't know. I just think, this is this is the picture of jonas that i have i don't know what the audience thinks about you but I, this I, one I think I, they don't think i like camping okay i mean if you don't like it you don't i Me, mean i just don't i don't know where i've put that off all right so who seems it like they would like camping more me. you or I, me out of me and you me <laughs> okay i'll give you that but like <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's, you're talking like it's on a scale of like one to a hundred. You're you're a zero and I'm a one. That that's what we're that's what we're talking about. So yes, I am more likely to go camping than you. <laughs> but it's you're talking about like, that'd be like putting two legless people in a running race and being like, well, he's got a little longer leg on one side. He's gonna win. He's a better yeah, runner. Yeah, dude, he's Usain Bolt. Yeah, of the, like of, of the. Like I was just Handicap. yeah I, I was I guess I, oh, I, I, I wow it caught me off guard I never thought I'd come off as the camping type no, no dude I like I mean like I'll go on a walk on a trail I guess or whatever but yeah. like no man I don't like sleeping outside I don't like bugs I don't like animals no no no, no dude, I've seen I've seen far too many too many videos of like a big cat or a bear. Um, like just following a guy down a, a trail, and I'm just like that could never be me. That could never be yeah, me. I yeah. saw one recently where a guy. Fortunate enough to have his gun with him, uh, a big cat, a freaking cougar, was uh, tailing him essentially. And the guy's like, oh, you can see him. He has his camera in one hand, gun in of the course, other. Of course, because the camera's important. Hey, yeah. man, just in case. Just, I feel that because it's like, if you want to know how it went out, this is how it went out. So, oh, like if they find just his camera and his gun because yeah. the, the, the cat drug him off into the woods and ate yeah. him. Yeah, hey, yo, find the cat and get him for me. So he's like, he's telling the cat. Telling the cat, yeah, right. Telling the cat, uh, go away. Cat ain't listening. Go away. The cat's not listening. Bang, bang, bang. Fires three shots, and misses, because obviously you ain't been to the range. You got the gun. Can't you, you, ten feet away from the cat. Don't kill. And then the cat, like, cat is like, wait a minute, something's not right here. <laughs> and the cat like turns around and takes off. I don't need that in my life, man. And I know you saw the one that's like there's like an eight minute video, eight minute video of the guy. He doesn't have a gun, and eventually he, the cat just gives up after he's just like backpedaling for like eight minutes. Yeah, in the video. well, I feel like even if you have a gun and shoot at a big animal like that, the noise of the gun would almost scare him off too. Because that, that's exactly. a loud ass yeah. noise. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it, even if you miss, well, and that's that, and that's actually an interesting caveat because I've heard people talk about like concealed carry things like that, yeah. and they're like. Yeah, you can you can be a good shot. You can have your gun, but that doesn't mean when a real situation's going down and all that adrenaline's going through your veins that you're going to be able to hold it steady yeah. and hit a moving target. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, you can say all day, "Oh yeah, I'd stop a robbery if I had my gun." Man, you'd be so goddamn nervous and <laughs> adrenaline pumping, like you'd just be like, uh, like shaking and like, because it is not something you're used to doing. You're yeah. just a guy. It ain't like you're military trained no. to like have those nerves of steel. Yeah, you got like, that. You got that gun cabinet. Like you're, uh, 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 what's the guy from? Oh, God. Ted Nugent, Constantine, but the other same guy, Ted Nugent. Yes, him. Okay, I think you're Ted Nugent out here. But yeah, you, but you're not. No, dude. Like it's one thing if you're trying to shoot a deer who has no issue, who has no like aggressive to kill you stuff, like or it's a tiger. <laughs> 
Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, a, a charging tiger. Yeah, like a like a goddamn big ass cat coming at but you. On the same note, Jonas, better to have it, oh, not oh, not sure. not need it, than to need it and not have it. Exactly. So I say about condoms. Yep. I never need them because I don't. I don't have any. I'm joking. Condoms and aspirin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's. I have never taken aspirin for a headache. I've always just taken ibuprofen or Tylenol. Anyways, go to thecrazyzone.com for Jonas. That was an interesting fact. Jonas, thank you yeah. for sharing that with us. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.